Who am I? I suppose it is the very question that men and women alike have spent their entire lives trying to answer. And I suppose the difficulty in the question lies in the fact that one's life is the proof of that answer. Hello and thank you so much for coming. In Windsor 7, we've been working on an expedition called Small Acts of Courage. The remarkable academic success of students in EL education schools has a profound origin. Our presentation today is dedicated to our interviewees. We thank you for your time and we thank you for your stories. The EL education model joins academic achievement to character, unleashing students' hearts and minds toward growth. Students are on a mission to contribute as scholars and citizens to a better world. Windsor 7 is honored to present our fourth volume collection of oral histories related to the Civil Rights Movement to the African American Collection of Maine. Six feet from hygiene, six feet from driveway. Today we're doing field work and we went out um, around this around neighborhoods to see where we would actually put trees. For large trees we have yellow wood, green ash, English oak. We had to like visualize and see what kind of tree we were going to put there, if it was to make shade, if it was to make the place look better. Yeah, Could be a Japanese alcova. Length is 24 centimeters. It's song. I can probably imitate it for you. Okay. It's like... <laughs> I got involved because we helped start a program called Bird by Bird where we provide bird watching equipment and act as citizen scientists. So take real data and be a part of this global database that tracks birds. It builds a ramp up to it, nest with sticks, so it just walks out of the water and goes to its home. That sounds like a very smart bird. It very is. Students build personal and academic courage to step up as scholars and citizens. They take charge of their own learning, speaking up in class, in the community, and giving formal presentations of their growth to public audiences. Hello everyone. This whole entire presentation is to prove to everyone that is here that I am ready for 11th grade. My name is Trinity. I'm in kindergarten and my school is called Delaware Ridge Elementary School. With our words, we welcome you. Here are two of my reading strategies. To do a student conference, you can be in first grade, second grade, or third grade, or fourth grade, or fifth grade, or you can be in kindergarten. When we looked deeper into this question, it became clear that the biggest single reason so many kids failed in school was illiteracy. So we decided to try to do something about it ourselves. Our school, the Santa Fe School for the Arts and Sciences, had always taught us to believe that by changing our own character, we could change the world. EL education students are not working only for themselves. They're working to help their classmates as well, supporting each other, critiquing each other and holding each other accountable for quality. His job in first grade was to draw a butterfly. Austin had to use this photograph as his model. This is called a tiger swallowtail. I knew it! Toby, what would you say? Don't put those little tail things so pointed in. I'd say put them more pointed down. Let's look at his last draft. And what do you think? He made like a lot of progress. He persevered doing it. And the nugget of space here should be a little bit smaller. And the nugget of space here could be bigger. I like how your scales are facing are going to the direction of where the body is. Like I like something that you can work on, like a stair, is trying to make all the scales the same size. Not like smaller. I had to than make that. them big because you know how it's. I have a quote from Act 1, Scene 7. Macbeth says, if we should fail, and Lady Macbeth replies, we fail, but screw your courage for sticking place and will not fail. Shakespearean language is a very different language than our modern English and what we're used to, so it definitely did take a lot of academic courage, especially me, where I came from a different country, and that was definitely a challenge for me, trying to adapt to all those, you know, that new language. The females, when they were more submissive and just listened to the males. I disagree because in the end it changes, and Macbeth says, the mind I sway by in the heart I beer shall never Stepping up to sharing a different idea or maybe disagreeing with something else, that's something that's very difficult sometimes. You don't want to seem like, oh, I don't agree with you, you're wrong, but you do want to share your ideas and you do want to 
you know, interpret their text in a different way to challenge them. Back then, the person would have fear of you. This school has taught me to push myself. One of my goals is definitely attending college, something that was not accessible to me before I came to this school at all. So I'll end with a, a great story. Estefan Rodriguez, good looking young guy right here. Could not speak a word of English when he moved to the United States from the Dominican Republic at age nine. Today, he's one of the top students in a senior class at Washington Heights Expeditionary Learning Schools, or WHEELS. Last month, he and his classmates put on their WHEELS sweatshirts and marched down the streets of Washington Heights in New York City through cheering crowds. Parents and teachers and neighbors. You would have thought it was the Macy's Parade. The march was to the post office where they mailed in their college applications. Uh, and this son of a factory worker who didn't speak much English just six years ago won a competitive scholarship to attend Dickinson College this fall. Joining academic achievement to character, students in EL education schools are on a mission to contribute as scholars and citizens to a better world. We don't want these to be the exceptions. We want these to be the rule.